Rust was created by Mozilla, the company responsible for the much-loved, privacy-focused web browser, Firefox. Now Rust is being adopted by the Chrome web browser, so Google can steal your personal information even faster. Run. What's up, Rustations? My name is Bogdan, and in today's video, we'll cover why Chromium decided to introduce Rust into its C++ code base. But before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet by heading over to letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. Now let's jump into the video. First, it's important to note that this is not Google's first attempt at using Rust. In 2002, Google unveiled Kata OS, a new secure operating system for embedded devices written in Rust. And in 2021, Google decided to use Rust for new code in the Android operating system. Rust now accounts for 21% of new Android OS code, and memory safety vulnerabilities have dropped from 76% of total vulnerabilities down to 35% of total vulnerabilities. A big win for Android. Seeing this success, it's no surprise that Google has decided to adopt Rust in other low-level projects. Which brings us to Chromium. Chromium is a free open source browser project which powers Chrome as well as other browsers like Opera, Microsoft Edge, and more. According to a ZDNet article, the Chrome security team has recently stated that they are adding a production Rust toolchain to their build system which will allow writing third-party libraries for Chromium in Rust. The team previously considered introducing Rust into the core platform itself but decided to maintain their C++ code base for now while they explore integration with Rust further. This makes sense as you should always be cautious when adopting new technologies, even though rewriting a code base in Rust is always the right answer. The security team has also added a couple constraints to these third-party Rust libraries. For example, the library must have a business need, such as meaningfully reducing the risk of memory bugs, crashes, and other issues. Another constraint is that interoperability is only supported one way, from C++ to Rust. This means Rust code cannot depend on C++ code. The security team decided that full cross-language interoperability would be too risky, especially given the lack of good interop tools. Chrome is taking the first steps in adopting Rust, which is great news, and I'm optimistic that Rust usage in Chrome will grow as they start to see the benefits of using a memory safe language. That's it for this video, but before you go, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet by heading over to letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. With that said, I'll see you in the next one.